in my notepad document, I have, first of all, these are my binary place values. This is two to the zero, this is the one's place, two to the one, the two's place, two to the two, the four's place, two to the three, the eighth's place, two to the four, the 16's place, 32's place, 64's place, and 128's place. So these are my place values in binary. And then take a look at this. There's my 192.168.1.0 slash 24 network. It's got this standard slash 24 subnet mask. I have one network of 256 minus two hosts because you can't use the network address, you can't use the broadcast address. Then if I want to subnet it into two subnets, I change this to slash 25. Now my subnet mask has this extra one in it. Now notice this one is in the 128th place. So if we were to look at it like that, and we'd say that the one is in the 128th place, this is the most significant bit, or what I like to call the last one in the subnet mask from left to right is the magic number or the most significant bit. And that means that this one is in the 128th place, and that lets you know that the networks will go up by 128. So starting at zero, where you have your first network, after the zero network, the networks will go up by 128. And there it is, there's the 128 network. Now, you've only borrowed one bit in the subnet mask, so you're only getting two subnets or two networks of 128 hosts each. Well, that makes sense, because you're going from a network of 256 hosts to two networks of 128 hosts minus two each. Now what about with the four networks here, four subnets? So in this case, we say we want to go from one network of 256 hosts to four subnets of 64 hosts each. We've borrowed two bits into our subnet mask. So now it's slash 26. So now if we look under this matrix here, these eight bits, the place values in binary, the, the most significant bit, or the magic number, is in the 64's place. That means the magic number is 64, and that means the networks go up by 64. So you've created the 0 subnet, slash 26, the 64 subnet, slash 26, the 128 subnet, slash 26, and the 192 subnet, slash 26. These are the network addresses. It's happening right here in the fourth octet because that's where you've subnetted. And the most significant bit or the magic number is this last one, which is the place value of that last one. Now, if you have a slash 27 subnet mask, you change the network from 192.168.1.0 slash 24. You change it to 192.168.1.0 slash 27. You've basically said, now I have a network where I've got three more subnet bits here, and now I only have five host bits. But take a look at this. If I have three subnet bits here, all these ones, and now one, 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 one in this last octet, I'll put it into my place value system here. This last one is in the 32's place. So this is magic number 32, or most significant bit 32. So the networks are gonna go up by 32. So we start off with the zero network slash 27, then 32 slash 27, 64 slash 27, 96, 128, 160, 192, and 224. Eight networks of 32 hosts each. We have three subnet bits, and two to the third power is eight. We end up with eight subnets, or eight networks. And if we move on, same thing here. Now we have slash 28. So our 192.168.1.0 network is no longer the same because it now has a slash 28 subnet mask. We only have four zeros here for hosts, which means two to the fourth power of hosts, which means 16 minus two hosts because you can't have the network, can't have the broadcast address. So you have 14 usable hosts. You have four subnet bits, which means two to the fourth power of subnets which means 16 networks. Now notice the most significant bit is in the, this is the 128's place, the 6432, the 16's place. So the networks will go up by 16. So 0, 16, the 0 subnet, the 16 subnet, 32, 48, 64 subnet, 80 subnet, 96, 112, and if we count here, the 16 networks, each network has 
16 host addresses. 0 to 15. But 15 is the broadcast address. 0 is the network address. 16 to 31. 16 is the network address. 31 is the broadcast address. And so on and so forth. If we go to the next level, slash 29. Now the magic number is 8 because this is the 8th place. The last one is in the 8th place. The networks are going up by 8. Notice all these networks going up by 8. Why? Because, very simply, if I take the IP address and I AND it with the subnet mask, it's going to end up in a multiple of 8 because of the binary nature of the subnet mask, it's going to be some multiple of 8 because that's what we have here in the ANDing process. So there are my 32 networks of 8 hosts each. And if we go to slash 30, we end up with 64 networks that go up by 4. So a 0 network, a 4 network, an 8, a 12, a 16. Notice the last one in the subnet mask is in the 4's place. And this is just going to go on and on and on, so I just stopped it right there. It's going to go 0, 4, 8, 12, 16, 48, 52, 56, 60, and each network. Now, if you have a network where your subnet mask is slash 30, the network here goes from 0 to 3. And 0 is the network address and three is the broadcast address, so there's only two usable hosts, host one and host two, which is perfect, which is perfect for a point-to-point -point network where you only have two hosts. This is the network, this is the broadcast, and you have host one and host two for a point-to-point -point network. And the four network goes from four to seven. Four is the network, seven is the broadcast.